Hello everyone, we're back and I'm sorry I wasn't able to finish this project tonight as we had planned to do, um, but I wanted to finish it for you guys and give you guys um, an update on how I'm going to be changing this around. Originally I had wanted to use the um, mermaid that I designed. She's a little bit too big, so I'm going to place her in a um, canvas and go around that with her. I will be asking Wanna Scrap because um, I want her to be a little bit smaller and so I'm going to see if we can get some smaller versions of that um, so that we can use that. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to shift things around. This is um, from what I was told it is where the sequins are popped out from this. Um, so I thought hey let's use that here and I use a stencil from Tim Holtz to a modeling paste to um, go around the corners and for um, a burst of color I use Tattered Angel Penny and Blue Raspberry and I also use some Dilutions Pure Sunshine and some Gesso just kind of brushed it around here and there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place this here um, and I use a corrugated cardstock and a picture of my kids and I'm going to go ahead and just glue that with my glue gun. It doesn't have to be like a, a perfect, you know. And of course you can distress that, you know, however you want if you want to. You can, you can. I'm use my little distressing. I guess it could have distressed it before I even did that. You can do that. It's not really necessary, but you can. Okay, and it's curled in. I'm going to go ahead and place that right around so. Like that. And then here's the... Um, C frame that I designed and I went ahead as you guys know on class I kind of colored it in with a little bit of um, a metallic and some of my paints um, and I am going to somewhat put that there and capture my kids trim so I thought that maybe we can put that maybe here Just trim some of this off because it looks like a netting down Maybe let's use some let's use some wet glue instead of hot glue it is a mess in the back because I painted I'm just going to capture the moment with the frame some gel medium turn this down and so this medium is a bit translucent so we can get this somewhat glued down
this is a liquid x gel medium and i'll show you that just in a bit Remember, this is going in the shadow box. So this is what I use, um, the matte gel, gel medium. And I think I'm going to take the stamp. I've already done what I need to do. I'm going to go ahead and close my medium. Take the stamp, and this is a Gabrielle Polacco. I mean, not Gabrielle Polacco. It is a blue fern ornamental ornamental stamp. Sorry, and I'm gonna go right in. Stamp that in. And I'm just using Vintage Photos by Tim Holtz. Out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and move this down. thinking of using this down here. This is from my um, collection. I'm going to go ahead and Say, May, you are not it for mixed media. I know, ladies, I know. All right. Brush it in with my fingers. And spread around. Spread that love. Okay, so I have that done, and I'm pretty comfortable with this little layout, but I have this little burlap twine 
or like a gimp rope. Um, and I'm going to toss some of this. I got this in Hobby Lobby in the ribbon section. It was $3.99. It comes in a roll of two yards. And with the 50% off, it came out to like $2. So I was thinking about tucking it here. Just like so. boost in there. Let's grab a little bit more and see what it looks like with this up here. But because I want to put the word down by the C, that might not go so well. So let's see. Yeah, that's not going to work there. What about down here? Oh, yeah, I like that there. Just a little touches that you put into something. Give it that nice unique look. And then I like the way this looks down here, so we're gonna go for that. put a little piece of that netting down and some cheesecloth and I did not spray my cheesecloth or anything like that I just kind of left it like that oh natural and I'm going to take some of this mat and I'm going to just go in there a little bit just a tad bit some of this off because of the shadow box but we'll see sometimes you do and sometimes you don't have to but this will dry up clear so I kind of like the, um, the fact that we're just putting big old clumps of it here and there.
This almost looks like sand though. So I might spray just a tad bit down here a little. And give it a little bit of a uh, boosting shimmer to some of this. And that it'll just um, look a little bit more like sand. Okay, so that's that. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to paint that. I like the way that's turning out. Got a lot of little blue ups in here. I like the way that's turning out. So let's move that over. And let's grab this and let's grab this. Just to give it some white pop in there. Again, some of those blue webs. Okay. Take my distressing.
I just like to do this this way. I don't know. To me, it just glues faster. And even if I had to go back in and nuke it in with a little bit of um, the heat gun, that's just my personal preference. Keep it in place. Fast and quick. Not too busy. like that. Nope, do not like that. some areas. I don't know why, but I really like doing my fingers on it because to me it just gives it more of the, um, that textured, nice textured look. out just take your baby wipe and wipe it out. I think that looks good. Let's go a little bit more here. 
The best tool that God could ever have given you are your fingers. Could you not? Those are the ultimate best tools ever. It's so busy, but it needs that anchor. Right there, that's where I want it. It needs the anchor. I'm just going to add a little, just, just to play around, be a little bit funky and di different, little dots here and there. do with the mermaid I think what I'm going to do is make a whole entire different little um, frame for it a little shadow box or something I think she needs to be in a showcase of her own
is stunning. Now I'm going to put a little bit of spray. And I'm going to grab some wipes so that we're not getting too much stuff. Just to mask some of the shells. First of the pure sunshine. to be dry. All right, ladies, it's not one going to cooperate with me. I'm just going to take some.
I am back. This is the finished results of the shadow box. I took some white paint and made some white speckles as you can see here. I also did a little bit more highlighting on the seashell to give it more lighting coming in. I um, purchased this shadow box from Hobby Lobby. I paid $15. It was originally $30, so it was 50% off. Anyway, ladies, this is the end result of the scrapbook and article layout that we created um, Friday and I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to ask I will be taking the mermaid and making a separate project for this I love the way she turned out but um, she was just a little bit and you know I could probably sit her outside on the shadow box but I think she needs a home of her own and I think I'm going to create a little bit of a scenery for her in a canvas type setting. I will also um, see if Wanda Scrap can make her just a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller so she can fit in something of uh, this nature. Anyway, ladies, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Check us out on Facebook. Until next time, bye bye. All right, so what I'm figuring is I, I'm going to put this cheesecloth there and I have some stuff to put on my little anchor and I'm going to take some of the patina we used to have this um, rusty thing I don't know what I did with it so we're just gonna go in here rub some patina little bit of a rusty look. 